to that breaking news from overnight, a 90-year-old grandmother becoming the first British citizen to get the Pfizer vaccine outside of trials. Her name is Margaret Keenan. She will be 91 years old next week, and she says this is the best early birthday present she could wish for because it means that she can finally spend time with her family. The UK has ordered 40 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine, but it's only having about 800,000 shots available in this first wave. Now, these developments overseas come as the FDA gets ready to meet this Thursday and potentially approve Pfizer's vaccine here in the U.S. Today, President Trump is set to issue an executive order that he says will prioritize Americans for the vaccines. We have team coverage this morning. Astrid Martinez digging into the numbers and the record-breaking surge. But first, we go to CBS 46's Trayson Bragg with more on the countdown to the vaccine. And Trayson, hopefully we're talking days now, huh? That's right. I mean, we all want things to get back to normal, right? And as you said, Rob, we are just days away from the FDA considering approval of Pfizer's vaccine. And here's what you need to know. Yes, it's true. We may be just weeks away from an approved coronavirus vaccine in this country. In fact, some medical professionals believe the first wave of people eligible for the vaccine could receive it as early as next Tuesday. That first wave consists of medical providers and nursing home patients. But the big question is, what do we know about the vaccine so far? Well, officials say 50 to 70 percent of the population will need to receive it for it to be effective in ending the spread of the virus. That's an important fact. Also, both leading vaccine candidates consist of two doses given three weeks apart. And get this, doctors say the second dose acts as a booster and is a must for your safety. We don't have all the information yet. If you're going to have more mutations, are you going to be more at risk to developing the disease if you only take one shot? There is some unknowns. Now, coming up at 6.30, I'll tell you why officials say even if you've already tested positive for the virus, you may still want to sign up for the vaccine. You don't want to miss this. Reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Trayson Bragg, CBS 46 News.